Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to Twist and Shout and I am Char and today I'm going to show you guys the Christian literature or Christian books that I am currently reading in no particular order. Well, I think I'm probably going to do them from like littlest to biggest because <laughs> I'm just weird like that. But um, this one is called uh, Three Little Words, God's Truth in Simple Terms by Terry Ferguson. And all he or she did, not sure if it's he or she, um, they took a phrase, confess your sins, and then made scriptures. Um, do not murder and give you scriptures. Dreams come true in Jesus' name. And like I said, three words on a phrase and three scriptures on a page. So I have been reading into this. Um, I pick this up every now and again if I'm having a really light morning or evening where I just want some scripture and get the word of God in me, I will pick this one up. So, and I got this from my library for like 10 cents. Um, they were getting rid of old books and putting new books in. So when they run out of room, they put books for sale and I got um, their paperbacks are anywhere between 10 and 25 cents. And their horror covers are anywhere between 50 cents and a dollar. So I got this one. And it's, as you can see, it's brand spanking new. I don't even think it ever got checked out. Maybe, maybe not. But <laughs> it was only about 10 cents. So that one. Then I have, sorry. I have this book. This is um, Whisper of Wisdom for Young Women. I got this from where I used to volunteer at a women's shelter. And so this was free. And this has 365 devotions. And you know how devotions go to give the title, the day, the scripture, and um, a story or something that is relatable or brings the scripture home to you. So this one, A Year of Inspirational Readings. This one is by... No. <laughs> it doesn't have an author written anywhere. It just shows that it's published by Barbour Publishing Inc. And that is the ISBN in case you are interested. So, there you have it. Next, we have... 101 Simple Secrets to Keep Your Hope Alive. This is another one that I got from the local library for, I believe this one's 50 cents because this is a hardcover. And it, just what it says, Simple Secrets to Keep Your Hope Alive. This is by Honor Books. Let me see if I get the... And this one is... Well, it says 101, so it has 101 reading. I fairly just started in this one. This one... The ISBN in case anyone is interested. And of course, you know, this one is very near and dear to me. I plan on reading this as soon as I get off camera because I need something to keep my hope alive. There's a lot of things going on. And uh, this book, along with my Bible and the scripture, would definitely do the trick. And as you can see, um, it gives a scripture here. It gives a um, the full write out the scripture and then um, some positive reassurance. And then some um, more reinsurance on the page. And it does that 101 times. So how great is that? Next, we have Hope for All Seasons. This is by Julie Ackerman Link, I think. Encouragement from Our Daily Bread. So this is like, y'all know the company, Our Daily Bread. I read from that. So this is one of their books, one of their readings. And again, that is by Julie Ackerman Link. So they pretty much just set up like a devotion as well. You have your scripture layout and then you have your main vocal point of scripture. And then it has a little story or phrase or teaching on the actual scripture. Um, this one, the ISBN is right there. In case you are interested, ISBN is right there, printing in the United States. 
and this was from 2017 so as you can see this came from the library too 10 cents um these were fa fairly new but you know as a library they have to stay current current so they are starting getting 2021 20, books in and this one had to go apparently but their loss is my gain so thank god for that especially a stay-at-home mom and a mom on a budget um what is next Ooh, skip one. I need to get one. Ooh, making a mess too. That is in the order of size. Okay, this was a free mail out from um, the Jonathan Mac oh, John MacArthur <laughs> Ministry. God's passion for his people. Um, sanctification. My husband is subscribed to his ministry. That's by Crossway. So what happens is you donate or if you choose to, they will send you these literatures. If you want, you just have to write in in a certain amount of time and he makes sure he is on it and he plans on sowing the seed to them. So this one, I don't think have like an ISBN or anything. It might still do. Yep. So there you go. And um, I just fairly start reading to this. And what I like about his style of writing is he has scripture throughout his writing. And I think that is very fascinating. That's a blessing. And I just started in here too. And as you can imagine, I'm reading a ton of books right now. So I'm moving slow, but I plan on diving right into this right after I get off from family with you guys. And this is what prompted me because I said, I want to read my books today. So bam. Next we have... Defining Moments with Choices Matter Most by Dan Schaefer. This one I started on and I kept getting sidetracked and I said, you know what? This is a very interesting book because it's definitely um, for someone like me who's easily sidetracked and I am indecisive sometimes and I think this book will be a, a complete blessing. So I want to actually, I took my bookmark out because I want to start over. So I plan on definitely diving into this um, currently and within the new year. And I definitely want to finish this ASAP. So this will be like one of my gold books. Definitely after I read um, my T.D. Jakes book completely. And I'm also reading my husband's book. I'm going to pick this one up. This is another one. Um, How to pray when you think you can't. This is one that is near and dear to me because... I have been getting in some situations, circumstances where it's almost like Satan has mute my mouth because I'm in so much pain and agony and stress and anxiety. So this has been a blessing as well. I started in here. Once again, I took my book more out because I said, you know what? I want to dive back into this. And I actually want to probably use this one as a um, read along with you guys. This is by Marcy R. Bogetti. Abogetti? I don't know. I suck at names. Um, but let me see if I can get the um, ISBN on that. And this is very good because I know a lot of people say they get stuck. They don't know how to pray, what to pray. Where is ISBN? Am I on the right page? Uh, da, 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 da. I don't see it. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Hopefully it's by um, Guy Post. So, how to pray when you think you can't. All right. So, Make sure you um, look into that if you have any trouble with um, praying or you have a tough situation. Next, I have um, 365 series together with God. Um, Psalms, a devotional reading for every day of the year from Our Daily Bread. So this is another Our Daily Bread book. Um, the editor is Dave Brannon. And this one has been awesome sauce. I am... <laughs> And you know, Daily Bread is good. So anybody who's associated with them, um, it definitely will be a blessing to you. This one has dates. So I kind of dive right into this one. I got this one like June, July, and I've been trying to read um, in particular order. I'm sorry if you hear Jace, <laughs> but this one is definitely a blessing because I can just go to the day and read what it says. Now, sometimes I told y'all I'm not a fan of that because um, that can kind of become like your God, like, okay, I got to see what this says for this particular day. And then some incidents you so happen to say, I'm going to read it today and it's a blessing, but you definitely want to be careful and be led by the Holy Spirit when um, it comes to reading this. Okay. So let me find the, there you go. This is the ISBN for this one. If you want to pause and catch that. And again, I absolutely love this one. Next, I have a Goodwill find. Oh, that one's from the library too. Sorry. <laughs> this is the one year, the 
one year women's friendship devotional. I got this because um, I said I want to establish biblical Christian relationships and I also want to build a stronger biblical relationship with my daughter. So I got this and hopefully me and her can um, dive into this together. And this IMBN, and again, this was from Goodwill, so I paid like a dollar. That is the ISBN as well. This one has dates too. So I um, I started on the date I got it and just kind of been going in that particular order. So there you have it. And I'm absolutely in love with this book. So definitely a good one. Okay, last but not least, because y'all seen my T.D. Jakes book, but Every Woman in the Bible, um, Sue and Larry Richards is fully illustrated. I cannot wait to dive into this. And when I do, I'm going to actually read along with you guys. So be on the lookout for, be on the lookout for that as well. This one, this is an old one. This is from 1999, but I think it's been remade. This is the um, ISBN right here. You want to catch that and again excuse me that is every woman in the bible so y'all know that i am trying to build a christian ministry and i find it very interesting because we have this in the house from his mom and like i told y'all i was reading let me get it the T. D. jakes book um when women pray and it talks about different women in the bible and i just say you know what this made me gravitate towards this book and i know what god is doing he is saying I got you where I need you to be. I need you to focus on what other women need to focus on. And that's kind of lacking in the community of Christianity because you got women trying to be men, but we're going to leave it alone. But last but not least, I am also going to pick back up the whole counts of God thinking biblically about Christianity. And obviously I've been with him every step of the way. I was literally watching him and sometimes I type for him when he um, written out this book. If you are interested in supporting him and getting this book, it is only $9. And as you can see, the whole counts of God it is not long at all. You can literally read this in a week. Um, excuse me. You can actually read it like a devotion and be done in no time. And again, if you need that information, you can um, send it. Um, to my Facebook page, send me your address or email me at sharfret at iCloud.com and we can get the order in for you and it usually gets to us in about a week and then we'll send it to you guys. So there you go. Or we can, if we can probably can just send it directly to you. So you won't have to wait. But again, that is only $9. It's still available, you guys. So reading back into that again, because this book is definitely a blessing and helping you comprehend and understand who God is and who the son is and who the holy spirit is so that is my christian reading as of right now and yes just like the bibles i have a whole lot but i tend to dive in them when led so i'm not pretty oh you know i'm not trying to overwhelm you guys i'm not overwhelming myself but this is something i'm going to bring into 21 like talking more about what i'm reading what i'm studying to kind of help you guys help me help you you know you know it's always good to be a blessing and something as small as discussing what i'm reading and what i felt about it can actually be a blessing to someone else so i'm going to start doing book reviews and i'm going to start reading inserts from books that are touching and a blessing to me or that i feel led by the holy spirit that will bless one of you guys so, for questions and concerns, drop them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. If you are new, give me a thumbs up. I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.